Hello good people, this is Matt Fisher back with another exciting video for you guys today as always and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to disable CPU throttling on your iPhone. So we're at our iPhone right now and just to give some context to why you would want to do this, recently Apple has been under fire because they have admitted to throttling the CPUs making iPhones slower when the battery is less than optimal. Now, because they've been under fire, Apple has been forced to put in a feature in iOS that disables the CPU throttling that makes your iPhone slow. But in order to have access to this feature, you need to be running iOS 11.3. Now, that's in beta right now at the time of making this video, but the beta is publicly available to anyone with an iOS device. So you can go ahead and download it and install it and get this on your iPhone today. Now, if you're running iOS 11.3, the way you find this feature is by going into settings, scrolling down to battery, and in battery, you have this new section that says battery health beta. And now you can have sort of two sections. One is maximum capacity and peak performance compatibility. Maximum capacity, that is how much life basically is left in your iPhone's battery. So when you get a new iPhone that starts at 100% and as your phone goes through charges, as it goes through its life, that maximum capacity slowly goes down a little bit. So I'm at 93% for my initial 100. But peak performance compatibility is the one we really care about because that's going to tell us how our iPhone is behaving right now. So for me, it says my iPhone is currently supporting normal peak performance. If my iPhone wasn't supporting normal peak performance, I would get a different message and then at the end of that message, I would have the option to disable this CPU throttling feature. So I'll have a screenshot on the screen of what that would look like. And as you can see the disable button right there, you would click that, it would turn off the CPU throttling, you'd restart your iPhone, and then you would be all set. You won't experience slowdowns anymore when you have a low battery life, but you may be required to charge your iPhone more frequently because of its less than optimal battery performance and that in turn will obviously draw down the maximum capacity. So that's why that other section is there for you. Both sort of go hand in hand. But again, if you have iOS 11.3, go into battery, go into battery health, and right there you'll see peak performance compatibility. If your battery's operating fine, then you don't have to worry about disabling the CPU throttling. But that's the video that I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed it and want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and click on that subscribe button and that notification bell right next to it so you never miss another video. But other than that, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and take care.